you get the floss sticks, right? The, the yeah, yeah, I'm obsessed with floss. I floss, I floss two, three times a day. You know, um, I had gone once and I got because it didn't have floss sticks, and I saw the other ones. It's like little mini thin br- uh, like brushes that you can just squeeze through. Uh, that's like that's like porno. <laughs> <laughs> that's porno. That's not for the. That's porno for the team. That you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a little yeah. brush, like a no, no. But the people that do that, that's not to 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 remove a piece of steak or to remove a like some kind of spice. It doesn't that, work. It doesn't work. That, that's massage. That's massage for gums. People that do that, they stay an hour doing that. <laughs> like the, the the piece of steak is long gone. You know, it's been hours that it's gone. No, but it's not good. Look, my teeth are very tight, so the thing like barely goes in, and it just it it cracks all the time, and it folds, and it's. Uh, it's that's uh, why you don't like it. Yeah. You, you need your teeth yeah. to be more spaced out. I need my teeth. Yeah, and you're right. It doesn't get it. Like the, 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 the floss stick is so much better. Yeah. Oh, everyone has their own little. Uh... How satisfying is it though when you when you take the, 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 the stick and you don't feel it. You don't know if there's anything. Like you don't feel something in your teeth, but like you do. And then there's like this big chunk of meat that just comes out. You're like, where the fuck was this hiding? Uh, yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, but the feeling is so good that I want to put it back to experience <laughs> and again. redo it again. I want to redo it again <laughs> and re plus. <laughs> okay. like so, no, or or or, or yeah. sometimes you know what you're doing, you go to get it and it's like, fuck, it came out too quick. I did, <laughs> you wanted, I did, you wanted yeah, yeah. more time to play around. I wanted with more it. time to play around, and it's like, man, it, it just it just came out too quick. The party's over. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I hate time. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Just Us Dads. This is the Dad Versation. This is the only podcast out there that thought it was a smart idea to get a Suvlaki joint to sponsor a weight loss challenge. The only one. <laughs> <laughs> the only one. <laughs> we're back. We're back to Zoom for this week because of the messed up scheduling. Chris is here, and uh, George. Uh, we're still we're still looking for George since last week. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody sees him, he's gonna end up on a on a milk carton. Um, yeah, no, George is uh, George has a crazy busy schedule as well, so uh, he's out again this week. What's up, Chris? I'm good, man. How are you? Ah, uh, good. Looking Little- good, man. I love the the cloth, well, the, the shaved head, whatever it is. This is how I it's always, easy uh, to the point. Yeah, I, I used to yeah. always clip number one, uh, but for the past two months, I just let it go. I just felt lazy again, and the, the other you know what I think you you, you can do though. It has to be either the, like there's, there's got to be hair somewhere. Like you, you, you can't be clean shaven there and clean shaven here. I think it's too yeah, much. Yeah. Like you can't be Mister Clean. Yeah, you can't be Mister Clean. I just no. the, the Rock though has a shaved head and shaved face. Yeah, but that's the Rock. But he looks good. Yeah, Bruce that's that's Willis. the Rock. Bruce Willis. What about the um, what's the other guy? Uh, Statham. Jason Statham. Ta- he has a bit of a <laughs> Takesh. He has a bit of a stubble. You're right. He's not. He's not fully shaven. Yeah, you, you need a little bit. You need a little bit. A lot of good-looking bald men out there. I don't feel that bad about uh, shaving. No, my hair. you're amazing, man. You're you're just, really good-looking, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. I I, I, I just, can sit here for five minutes and just compliment you from from, from head to toe. Go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next week. Next week. Yeah, next week. Next week. The good thing is, uh, and I always thought, like you know, growing up, obviously nobody ever thought that you know I'm gonna be bald or whatever. But you know, oh, when you. <laughs> about you you were losing you were thinning out man at like 23 yeah like end of university it started thinning out but it was still like i maintained like it wasn't that bad it was like the last five years were like dude it's about time like a lot of people were telling me uh george i think you're there now i think you gotta go and i kept pushing it and then i'm like I, you know what? Yeah. and but, then you know, uh, you know what happens like you go to a pool it gets wet and then you just see you just see the bald and when it's wet it's just bald everywhere yeah, yeah exactly it's like where are my hair so much space <laughs> yeah <laughs> you like it when it's dry then you have to start blow drying it yeah make it puffy as much yeah, as you possible. put thickening agents in it yeah yeah but uh when that started happening when i started uh realizing that shit 
if this keeps going on, eventually I'll have to shave my head. I, I kept thinking to myself, look, I cannot be bald and fat. Like it, it can't work that way. <laughs> like you know what I mean? I don't. I don't know. I don't know how you feel about that. It's like uh, that's what my wife told me. Yeah, if you're bald, at least you gotta have a good body. Uh, it it kind of counterbalances, you know. And then yeah. like all the all these bald guys that we just mentioned, like they're so you know you don't even you don't even notice that they're bald because you're looking exactly. you know, good. You know, you're like, oh, these guys are they're good looking. Look how fit they are, muscles. Yeah, but the baldness makes them sexier. It does. It complements when, you, the when you're ugly and fat. The baldness accentuates the, the fat and the ugly. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it, man. You're right. You're right on that. Yeah. So you can you can be bald and fat. So it's like um. Yeah. All right. Good, man. So look, look you're not fat anymore. You're not, you're not in the fat range. Um. I no no. I'm. I, I am. I'm. I'm overweight. I'm. I don't know. I, I don't know where where it, where it classifies. Like I don't think I'm obese. Uh, uh, you know what? You're using the BMI. Is, is fat is fat bigger than overweight? Like in the scale, like it, it, like when you're fat, are you further down the scale than? I, I, I don't think there's any scale. I don't think there's any scale that says fat. <laughs> so I think what they use is obese, mildly obese. Uh, I think average, something like that. They use they, they, they don't they, they don't they refrain from using the word fat. <laughs> in my mind, it's like <laughs> in my mind, like and maybe I'm wrong. It's like. You're fit, you're 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 good, like it's a comfortable thing, and then you're overweight, then comes fat, then comes obese. Where, where do you put fat so? Ah, because uh, I, I you know people say fat so, but I find fat so is bigger than fat. It is, it's slightly bigger. Uh, it's bigger than fat. And, and, and yeah. it, not, not only is it bigger, not, <laughs> it's between fat and obese, but it's also that category where you're being made fun of. It's like fat so yeah, yeah, yeah. fat so. Yeah. I've never, yeah, yeah. I've never, never thought of that. But uh, yeah, fat. <laughs> I heard it a lot. I don't, but I heard it in elementary school. Yeah, you know, and not that much. Not that much, actually. I think I was one of those stupid kids that would call the kids fat and fatsos. You would call the kids fatsos. <laughs> yeah, like anybody that was a pound heavier than me was a fatso. You know? <laughs> it just took a pound heavier. There weren't that many uh, big kids. No, you're right. There we were three. There were three or four max. Don't say the names. Don't say the no, names. No, no. We, yeah, we, we were three. We were three. <laughs> we, you're including yourself in there. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was a big kid. Yeah, and then there was yeah, two more that I can think of off the top of my head. And then you had the roundish guys. You know, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. And then you had the really thin guys like you. Was I? No, there were skinnier kids than I was. Like, I was a skinny kid, but I was, like, fit skinny. Like, I was, um, like, elementary sexy skinny. <laughs> that, that, probably, that, that probably came out wrong but uh yeah, there were yeah, other yeah. like twigs like really skinny kids like you were afraid to touch them they were so like yeah, yeah. No, names. No, 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 no names no names no names yeah so you had that and i think it was you that was telling uh telling us the other day that you've noticed way more obese kids today yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, 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 the numbers are reversed i'm sure statistically that has to be proven given uh given well, for sure no for sure, for sure. Oh, this is not the uh to way too many obese people and that that's the thing just to get back to that when, when you base the obesity scale on the bmi which is the body mass index everyone's obese like angelo is obese and he's not yeah. Yeah, but he's obese, and then there's more and uh, morbidly obese, morbidly sorry, Morbid. morbidly obese. Yeah. yeah, yeah, morbid obese. So it's like uh, you know what? If, if you're not a hundred and uh, hundred and sixty <laughs> to like a hundred and eighty pounds, between five five and six feet, with like maximum ten percent body fat, I think you're overweight. You're 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 you're, you're fat. It seems incredible. Um... And not only that, never mind fat. You have people that are like not fat according to the body mass index, but still have a lot of fat related diseases. Anyways, look, that's another thing. We don't want to get into this, but yeah. it's like uh, it, we're, we're not eating well. We're not moving a lot. We're not moving enough. We're not eating enough quality food. So, uh, yeah, yeah. How's your it's, it's, how's your uh, how's your diet going? Just uh, before we start, for those listening that may have missed previous episodes, we've extended until the end of April, and we have started kind of like a parallel challenge for other people to join in. We have about mm. five or six people. Uh, one, two, three. You had four. 
and George has three. How much is that? Three, six, seven, seven people uh, All right. that have joined in. So I don't know. Uh, so we should definitely extend it to July. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I'm an advocate of long term, man. The reason I, I, it's not because uh, I'm afraid to 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 lose is we have to think long term. Obviously, we got to announce the winner. We got to just wrap it up. But you got to think, I've lost weight fast. It yeah. doesn't work. No, no exactly. It, it no. doesn't work. It's a long term yeah. thing. And the longer you prolong it, the more you can sustain it and stay with it, I think the better the results. So it's like almost like I'm trying to hack my brain into thinking, okay, let's go a little bit more. Yeah. I think, you know? I think, I think we should end it because people are just excited to see who's going to win. Uh, and then we need to do something um, like as an add on. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. At the end of the summer or whatever, like the first person to see an ab wins. Oh, bro, that's a decade. It's a <laughs> no, decade of work. No, it's not. <laughs> you know what? If I go in deep inside at a certain position, at a certain angle, I could feel an ab. But I have to be sitting down, lying down. It has to be in the morning. So I have to yeah. an empty stomach. I have to contort my body in a certain Yeah, yeah, dehydrated, <laughs> no water, nothing. And then I'll feel the ab. <laughs> The abs are tough. Abs, my abs. I've always felt my abs. I've never gone to a point where it's like I had to, my hand had to go swimming into my fat to, to figure out what's under there. Uh, no, but it's like, what well, you have to go in at least like this. No, uh, Sorry. it's pretty... at least that. It's not on the surface. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on the surface. The ab is all on the surface. <laughs> yeah, it's about, uh, yeah, maybe a quarter inch. Uh, man, I remember. Oh, dude, we were flying from California. Me and George, and we're, we're, we're me, George, at our biggest. I think both of us were at our biggest. And the third guy on the third seat next to us was probably <laughs> like bigger than both times. of us. Yeah, one and a half. Yeah, times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're on the last, 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 last seat in the plane, yeah. right? In the plane. Man, I don't remember. It was six hours or five hours. Like, I think. Like you, you guys are sitting together in the same row. Yeah, 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 the same oh, row. Like oh, all you guys. Oh, I think this hand. It, it, I wasn't touching his fat. I was in his fat. <laughs> <laughs> like I was in layers. Like like I was warm. <laughs> the, guy, like, the guy had to lift his tits so you can place your hand. <laughs> no, but I was in his fat. I've never felt that before. Like you're in the fat. You know, it's like you're not touching it. It's not. You're in it, and it's like it got comfortable after. <laughs> After a point, nice we all, <laughs> we all nice became one body. No, it became one body. It's just one body, one row of like one body of just like. How, oh, does that, how, how does that conversation start? Obviously, and I know who you're talking about, uh, and you were pretty open with each other. But like, do you say, uh, "Dude, uh, I'm like halfway into your ribs. I hope you don't mind. I don't have room." And no, 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 we don't. You don't okay, talk. Bro, about I get it. it. No, you just you just don't talk. You, no, you just accepted it. It's there for the, whole, for the whole six hours. No one mentioned anything at all. That you yeah, guys no. don't fit in the seats, or <laughs> we said we said everything we needed to say just with our eyes. <laughs> everyone, understood. everyone understood. Everyone knew exactly because you know what? Even if you're like a medium guy, like when you're in the plane, you're, you're touching the other person. Yeah, yeah, it's tight. It's tight. Yeah, like it's like you know, and it's like you're like, oh man, and then it's like you just accept it, and then what you have to do is you got you got to gain. You get you got to find the territory. Right, you gotta mark your territory first, like on the armrest, because if you don't, and somebody puts their arm first, then what do you do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna move your your arm. Was it a plane that had only one armrest, or the two stuck together, so each one has like an inch of an armrest? Because that's how thick they are. They're like about you know very. No, no, I think I think they're all one. It's one. You lift it, and yeah, yeah, it's one armrest that you join. I'm just saying, if somebody takes more space with their elbows, yeah, you're, you're kind of fucked. What's but the, us, we were, uh, like, yeah. we were like comfortable. Us, it was just like we're like just, you know, we're like we're like this. Like we didn't even need seat belts. <laughs> we, we wouldn't <laughs> move. <laughs> we're just stuck together. It's like you don't need the seat belt. It's so horrible. You know, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I can't remember who it was that told me, and I don't know if it was for them or for someone else that they knew. Um, but they had to pay extra for. Uh, uh, yeah. For for seats in the in the plane, yeah, yeah. So so what happened for the three four hundred pounders? It's an extra seat. You got to pay an extra seat. So they lift the handrest, and you just sit on two seats because that's yeah, also yeah, not yeah. that comfortable. You have the crack well, in the middle. When you're that big, 
that is way more comfortable than one seat oh, and you have sure. that armrest going into your hips yeah 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 uh, there was a whole thing about that like how ethical is it and should airlines charge double but hey man it's, you're taking two seats <laughs> that's true you are taking two seats you're taking two seats you know it's like should they should they have the compassion and say you know what we'll lose a ticket because this person is overweight or they've made bad choices in their life maybe yeah. the back seats should be like one and a half times the size yeah it's a good idea you know what i mean yeah and, if, you and if they don't have obese people then the person that gets that seat is just lucky that's all you yeah know? Yeah, but it would have to be spread out because if you put half yeah, the plane yeah, in the back, that's, that's discrimination. Go to the back. The, of the plane, plane, the plane is going to go like this. <laughs> you know, the pilots are going to have reach. They're going to have to get retrained to fly with this new weight distribution. It's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that one. But I'll, always, I was always like with planes because I there, there was a period where I, where I flew a lot. I, w- I would travel a lot, and uh, I was at my biggest at three twenty. You know what? <laughs> and I don't get embarrassed, right? But it's big, bro. It's heavy. Three twenty. That was my heavy. Three twenty. And at that point, I needed an, I needed an extension on my belt. Well, you never told me yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I needed oh to ask. God, no. Like, yeah, yeah. No, and I, no, no. The belts are big. Yeah, yeah. Come on. No, no, no. I I needed an extension. So I'm I'm trying and I'm going like this. I'm like, oh my. I'm, I'm like, shocked. no. I am. Shocked. You know what? I'm like, I'm. Re- I refuse. And it wasn't for the embarrassment. It was just like numb. No, it's impossible. You know what? Fuck. I'm well, not asking. Those are bro. huge. How, how is that even yeah. possible? Like there was no loose left. You know. You know when you when you yeah, tie yeah, yeah. it. And, yeah. <laughs> you got it to clip, but I, nothing... I I I got it to this. It was this much left. It was this much left. <laughs> there was nothing to pull. It was already to its. Back. There was nothing to pull. And then I'm like, oh man, I need an extension. Can I have a belt extension? So they brought it to me. You know. And it was that 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 was one of those moments where you're like, oh fuck, you know. Yeah, that, that's an alarm. Yeah, that's 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 definitely a little flag, a little alarm. And that's when you're like, oh, fuck. But you're so uncomfortable, man. And then you fly to Texas and you're like, oh, wow. Everything is nice. You feel skinny there. <laughs> yeah, you know, in, in Texas, like it's uh, <laughs> even the seats at the airport, they're, they're huge, man. It's like I, you can sit, put your bag next to you and still have some room. See, this is, this is the big question because you have all these institutions and government making it easier for the bigger people as if to tell them, Look, it's okay. It's okay that you're like that. See, I prefer having things at a standard size so that, like, like in your example, you get the message like, shit, I, I got to do something. Like, there's a flag here. The belt doesn't even reach. Rather yeah. than having bigger things available just to accommodate me and to make me feel like, see? I'm yeah, okay. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you that. I agree with you 100% on that, even though, like, it, it was nice to have an extension because if I didn't have an extension, I wouldn't be able to put a belt on. <laughs> so I would need another two fat guys on a three seater. Okay, but it's okay. Yeah. It's only for takeoff, man, and for the landing. You could you could have hidden it. No, man. The point was the, the, the point was the flag. It was like, oh fuck, yeah, yeah, I, I have to press that little button. <laughs> and uh, <then> whisper. <laughs> no, I didn't whisper. It's like I, I need I need a belt extension. And it's like, oh, it's normal, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah, that was the time. That was the time where I was like, "Ooh, that was a flag." But yeah, planes are made small, man. They're made. They're made for regular people. They're not made for uh, even tall people. Never mind the, the the fat people, the tall people. They have no leg room. Look, it's all it's all um uh, what do you call it? it, it it's it's all money. It's all tickets. It's like, how many people can we maximize in this, you know, space? Uh, for the money. So it's all costs. It's all it's all already. Out. Yeah, of course, it has to be yeah. optimized. I understand that. So, I understand that, but yeah, the, so the, all the tall guys, they either have to go in the premium seats in the beginning, right in the front, which they, they pay a premium to, to have their, their legs. Yeah. The first be one. comfortable or an exit. Yeah. All right. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, we had, um, I'm trying to think cause when we flew to Greece in 2016, we flew there in first class and I'm trying to think if we got those tickets on purpose or if they upgraded us. And we ended up, doing, I can't remember what it was. In any case, it was the best, uh, especially yeah, of course. I'm traveling with uh, with uh, with Emma at that time. And I didn't know how she was going to be. And I didn't want to annoy people. And it was good. And then on the way back, we managed to get those first seats in economy, like the, the, the very first seats. 
Yeah, yeah. there's something like I don't, I don't think we booked those. As soon as we walked in there, we uh, we uh, we told the lady, we're like, listen, we have the baby. We need some more room in the front. And she's like, yeah, no problem. And uh, they gave us some seats. I think we asked. I don't think we, uh, I, I could be wrong though, but uh, I have a feeling that we asked. And that was, honestly, it was, I'm not going to say as good as first class because it wasn't, but it was the closest thing. It was not bad. It was really, really cool. Yeah, I know it is. Look, it's tight, man. The planes. That's why I like traveling uh, by boat. I love boat. Mm. Like ferries, right? Yeah, yeah. Even even train. I've I, dude, I haven't been on a train in so long. Trains are fun. Uh, the, the the tightest is planes and uh, and buses. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is for big boys, right? That's why you have to lose weight. The, but you see, just want to fit in with everyone else. Yeah, but see the the, the ferries though, and obviously you're you're talking about Greece. Uh, like it was fun, like earlier on when you used to go there, but now I, I'll, I'll gladly pay the 100, 150 euros to be there quicker. I, no, 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 me. Yeah. Like, it's not for the money. 100 euros is it's, no, it's for not me, the, no, it's, of course not. It's, I like the time. experience going out, uh, the seeing the island from far, if, if being the on distance, the ocean, if the distance is close, I'll do it. Like if it's within two to three hours. Oh, but yeah, if, yeah. I'm not going to take a boat for nine, nine hours. Like you're, you can't take a boat from no, 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 no. Santorini anymore or even... No, no, no. You're right. You're right. No, you're Mark, right. You I mean, from, from island to island. You know, yeah. it's like an hour, an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. I agree with I you. would go upstairs. No, it's uh, nice. It's be nice. outdoors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels yeah. good. Feels good. Yeah. I've been, I, you've been to the super fast ones, right? Where it's like plane seats. You sit down. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to that. Alex didn't like it. I know. <laughs> she couldn't move. She was green. Have you booked? Or have you booked for this year? Are you going? No, not yet. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, we're gonna book in May. Oh man, yeah, the worst time to get tickets. Is it? I wanna... Look, <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not looking to get a bargain on price. I'm looking to to see how things are gonna ease up, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at that. A little bit of COVID. A little bit of uh, Russian Ukraine war. Yeah, I guess that's the uh, the other thing that you need to weigh there because I yeah, think yeah. in terms of ticket prices, like past February, you're pretty much getting yeah, yeah. max. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what I'm gonna. I know what. And I'm then, gonna. and then, if you're booking in June, July, then it's over. Then it's like, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna wait till June. I'm, I'm thinking May. I'm thinking May or before that. Yeah, and when would you go? Like in August. Mm, probably two weeks. No, two two last weeks of July, two first weeks of August. Oh, construction. Yeah, I'll take the whole month. I miss Greece. It's been a long time, man. Me too. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think about it a lot. Like we said last time. Yeah. I'm I'm thinking of of like that's where I'm gonna retire. That's that that's that that's the goal. For whatever reason. I have my reasons, but uh, it's like uh, I miss it too much lately. I hear it. It's also because we haven't traveled. Like it's been two and a half years, nobody's gone anywhere. Uh and uh people just want to get out, you know, people just want to leave anywhere. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, but me, it's more of a like, uh, I'm trying like to, uh, yeah, like we're uh, thinking now, like the big debate now is, is it worth because we can't leave too much because of work? Um, and then I'm thinking, you know, my wife is like, we can't leave. I'm like, no, no, we have to go somewhere. I don't care. Like, even if it's Nova Scotia, <laughs> whatever, anywhere where I can see, like, who wants to go to Nova Scotia, George? <laughs> <laughs> anything where i can see open space and you know the sea anywhere yeah no but i'd rather go to laval <laughs> or like maine. i'd rather book okay. a hotel in laval okay maine. The same thing. okay maine, maine okay maine maine okay yeah. all right it's it, it better a, a bit myrtle beach yeah 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 nova scotia <laughs> I don't i'm know. sorry I, I don't mean to offend our canadian buddies and our canadian friends but like you know it's like I'm sure Nova Scotia is nice. I'm sure there's beautiful things. Uh, listen, I, the experience that I have that I took away from living in Greece is that being next to the sea makes you feel good. And sometimes I feel it here when I take the um, when I come home and I take the the Victoria Bridge and I the, the highway along the uh, the river the, the river. There's something about the fact that okay, look, there's water. It's open. I don't know what I'm sure there's like some signs behind it. It makes you feel good, man. And uh, look, I've never been to Nova Scotia. And again, like you said, I don't want to offend anyone over there. Uh, I don't know how nice or how not nice it is. But I know for a fact that because they have coastal highways that you see the sea, open water, 
they must be slightly happier than we are over here. Uh, yeah, yeah um, maybe. I tend to think that uh, if there's water, I need to be in it. I don't need to see it from afar. I don't think that does anything to me, especially when it's uh, yeah, that's where no, all, I the, think all, no, all, for, all, yeah. all the poop drains in there. You know, like that, that, that doesn't entice me. What are you talking, uh, are you talking about? The river. Yeah, what do you what do you what do you think your poop goes? Yeah, no, I'm not talking about the river. I'm just saying, like mentally, it's like the closest thing we have, and sometimes <laughs> even that makes you feel slightly better. But I'm comparing what we have compared to Nova Scotia, where at least they have a real, you know, they have the Atlantic Ocean over there. I mean, just yeah. that. I'm sure to some extent you must feel like ah, look how beautiful. Yeah, yeah, maybe Which we maybe. don't get not enough to get me there. Yeah. No, I, I just said it like that because I thought, okay, yeah. Canada, sea, it's either west or it's east. And if it's east, it's Nova Scotia. If it's west, it's BC. And God knows I'm not going to BC. <laughs> like that, that's like, it feels like it's yeah. at the end of the world, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But between BC and Nova Scotia, I think I do BC. Absolutely. Victoria, Vancouver. I, I do that more than, uh, I don't know, maybe. Look, look, but everything can change. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I I, my see, mindset. I think, distance, I think distance and time. And it's like, okay. It seems like Nova yeah. Scotia is closer. Yeah, maybe Nova Scotia hasn't done enough of good marketing to get me to go there. I'm sure there is. You just probably don't see it. Yeah. Uh, but probably, you're right. maybe they haven't invested much in in their tourism. I'm sure there's beautiful things to see in Nova Scotia. Like they can't, they can't. Just... Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. It's just for me, it's priority maybe 180. <laughs> so if I was able to live, if I was able to live 400 years. I pro- maybe I would <laughs> maybe I'd make it maybe if 400 years maybe I'd make it there you know yeah okay so maybe um, maybe the eastern coast of the US maybe yeah maybe we'll drive there but I really just want to fly and get out of here man uh, do a Cuba man no 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 we've spoken about this before <laughs> but, no I said I'm never going to Cuba ever again and time, I agreed but, with you and I oh agreed. you agreed okay, okay yeah, you're right. no, no, I, I agreed I said forget it maybe Jamaica yeah, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, Jamaica. A little Jamaica, a little St. Martin's, St. Vincent, yeah. Barbados. There's so much. There's there's so yeah. much. There's there's more than Cuba. Oh, no, guaranteed. But it's just five times the price. <laughs> mm. Times four. Times five times four. So it's almost times 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's serious, right? Yeah. I remember once I got, uh, we're thinking of like, okay, let's do something else, right? So I went and got a quote. Just like that for Turks and Caicos. So obviously I didn't really research it, but I'm like, okay, let me find a hotel that I like. Mm. Let me find a hotel with a couple of water slides, you know, like uh, the cool amenities, kid friendly. So I put for four people and I saw the price. I'm like, no, this is not, I'm not going, I'm not spending 20, $22,000 for a week. That's not happening. Oh my God. They yeah, don't, have, yeah, they don't yeah. have any inclusive packages down there. I don't know what it was. Look, it's, it's a, probably a coach. So it's like, um, like a suggested retail price type thing, right? Yeah. So it's probably low, lower. I just wanted to get an idea, but I wasn't going to spend twenty two thousand for like, for like, for a like, week. Yeah, like psychologically, see, because I, I was looking at tickets for Greece end of January, early February, and they were like eight fifty, eight eighty, eight ninety, mm-hmm. like nine twenty, you know, which is much cheaper than any other time during the year that you're going to go, especially for the summer. And I was yeah. like, oh, nice, nice, you know. And then you know, you put two adults, two kids, uh, blah, blah blah. And then you see the total, and the total still bugs you, even though the like yeah. at, at yeah. a unit, the ticket is <laughs> like, oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred bucks, perfect. But then when you see everything together, you're like, what? How come? Yeah. What? What happened? <laughs> Goddamn kids! <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. That's why a lot of people travel just couples. <laughs> yeah, just, just couples. You know what? It makes sense. And we had that episode a while back that, about couples traveling without their kids. Maybe that's the reason. Yeah. <laughs> we, I know. I know couples that travel. That tra- sorry, that travel alone without their spouse. Without the spouse. Like, <laughs> oh hey, I'm, I, I booked there. When are you going? Let's coordinate so the kids don't stay alone. Uh, the poor kids. The yeah. poor kids get nothing. I'll be the Dominican, and okay, look, you can go to Barbados the week after. Shit like that. Yeah. That, that and it's, it's it's normal to them. It's just when I hear that because that's not that's not part no, of my that, everyday. That, that's even more disturbing than a couple traveling without their kids, which I some uh, which I can understand. Like you know, I wouldn't yeah, say uh, disturbing. I wouldn't say disturbing. But it, it's disturbing. It's uh, well, you think? How, like how does that how? It's it's a, just a different relationship. I wouldn't do it, but it's it's a different. It's they're fine with it. 
you know what? It's different. It's different when you do that and you feel bad about it, right? Let's say you decide, okay, I'm going to go on vacation by myself, but I feel bad about it. It's like, I don't think it's right. Then, then obviously it's not right. But if you're totally okay with it and the other person is totally okay with it, there's nothing wrong. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to defend it because no, no, I, just I get it. It's like, it's like, you know what? If no one's bothered by it, you know, like, but, like, but like, think like, about it. You come back. So let's say daddy leaves, right? Daddy goes to Jamaica or daddy goes to uh, Dominican Republic yeah. and he comes back. And then you have the kids and the mom saying, so how was it? <laughs> you know, tell me. <laughs> tell me what you did you know <laughs> look at it from the kid's perspective oh dad's gone on a trip okay cool he's having fun he comes back how was it oh it was great oh, okay cool daddy and then mom leaves <laughs> so the kids are yeah, like, mom leaves. <laughs> then mom leaves the, the kids are stuck with the swings at the park that's that's the year fun yeah it is look whatever man some people i don't know i don't know i i, I know i thought it was weird at the beginning but then then it was like more than two, three, four people, five yeah, people. I, I don't think yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm trying yeah. hard to think if I know at least one person or one couple that does that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I know. I know a few. Do I know them? That That's what uh, I think, you know, one of them Holy or maybe two of them. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. People do that, man. I'm telling you, people do that. Chris, the I, older I, generation. I struggle, won't do Chris, that. I, I struggle and I have to like prepare myself months in advance with negotiations and all these things to, to, to have like a weekend get away to go play golf with some buddies. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, one exactly. night, one night, like a Saturday night, I'll be away. You know what I mean? And it's oh, like, man. No, no, I get it. That's and these guys ready. leave for a week. Yeah. Look, I travel and I'm going to start traveling now a little bit more, but it's for work. It's a little but bit it's different. It's work related. It's different. Yeah. But, even us, we struggled. It's like, okay, I mean, how are we going to tell our in-laws or my parents that we're not traveling together this year? You know, we're there. Like, never mind we travel a whole family. We oh, travel, like, mean, sometimes we're, we're whole You're not family. bringing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, sometimes we've traveled and we're like 10, 12 people. You know what I mean? Never mind me leaving alone or, or, or my wife being like, yeah, I'm going, I don't know, I'm going to St. Martin's for, for the week. And you know, it's even worse. Like, a lot of people travel alone. Like not even with a friend. No, that or I know. Meeting. Yeah, it's like I, I, know couple, alone. I, I know a couple guys yeah. who do that. And you know what? Everyone that says it, it says it's cathartic. So I, I, I need to. We know it. Let, let's try it. Just by ourselves, pick up and yeah. leave, go somewhere for a week. You go June. You let me know how it goes, and then and I'll try it in July. I need company, man. You'll find company there. Nah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. No. Trust me, people <laughs> detect the lonely souls. <laughs> you're gonna stick out like a sore thumb like people are gonna be like this this guy's alone yeah yeah especially when you're drinking at the bar alone yeah i can't i can't people know i can't do that when we went to cuba with uh with the guys it was in uh 2008 9 i can't remember anyway uh uh initially it was uh supposed to be me and jimmy but then Honestly, the 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 reasoning was we can't just go the two of us. People are gonna think we're gay. We need a third guy because <laughs> that kind of breaks. Because so you can't go alone because people know that you're a reject. You can't go two because then people think you're gay. So the magic number is three. <laughs> you know what I mean? And four is not good either because then they're gonna think they're two gay couples traveling together. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nobody sees four guys that thinks two gay couples, man. No, I know. the the two guys, I get it. The two, two guys, guys yeah. it could be a little like yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's like, uh, you know, it's like you guys even, yeah, you, and you guys could look like a couple. Today, <laughs> Two with a shame that today you and Jimmy could look like a couple. Yeah, perfect match. <laughs> yeah. So that's what it was. Yeah. And then you're gonna have people, you're gonna have people going at the bar, like, okay, so who's the girl? <laughs> who's <Yeah. that? laughs> isn't that isn't that like and like, I don't even know if we're being <laughs> the taller one is the man. The taller <laughs> one is the man. But and again, the point is, uh, like, I hope I'm not discriminating against you know gay people here. But do you feel that you're always, or not always, but often in that mental dilemma where you see a gay couple, which is fine. Like, I don't mind. Like, I have a lot of gay friends. But when you see a gay couple, whether they're two men or two women, don't you also get into the the thing? Of, okay, who's the male and who's the female in the couple? Do you yeah. do you get there? I don't, I don't think I get there. I think even in, in the couple, they think like that. There's always one that's a little more dominant. There has to be. 
I don't think they think, okay, I'm the I'm the girl and you're the like because no, they don't think it in terms of like yeah. I'm the girl and you, but yeah. they, there's there's the there is there's the one that has a little bit more male attributes and characteristics, and there's another one that has a little bit maybe more female attributes and characteristics. Yeah. All this to say that I like you when I see couples, I'm looking at who's the man, who's the man in that uh, relationship. Uh, well, yeah, well, between you and Jimmy, I don't know. It's a tough one. It'll be a tough one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just uh, two rough males. Like there's no yeah. there's no female attributes anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so now you brought a third guy. So it, do you think people when when you were three now, yeah. do you think people thought like who's this third wheel? <laughs> the, why is the third wheel? It must Who's be the third wheel for him bothering those two lovely gay men. <laughs> you and Jimmy are the couple, and there's a third wheel. Peter's the third wheel. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> oh man. Oh jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, how do we get here, man? How do we get to this conversation? Traveling. Huh? Uh, traveling. We're talking about traveling. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we started uh, from like my arm is in somebody's fat <laughs> that's what it was <laughs> we ended up you and jimmy being a couple <laughs> oh my goodness uh yeah all that to say that um yeah it's time uh, it's time and uh yeah what's time uh, it's time to like it's time to get out and do stuff and to try oh yeah 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 yeah, like it. it is. It's real. traveling is good, man. You know what? And you, you you need it. It's a must. I think it's more than a need. I think it's a necessity. It's it's far. It's it's gone. It's it's past wanting and needing. It's necessity. I it's, think it's, it's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like uh, you know, you're right. It's two years. A lot of people are freaking out. They just want to get away. But you know what? We'll do it. Doesn't have to be going out somewhere. It could be just going to the bar and dancing on the table. What? I, I it could be <laughs> just dancing on the table. I told you the happiest people in the world are the people that dance on tables. You, you see quite a few of those on the weekend. Yeah, I see quite a few of those on the weekend, and it's like you know what? Those people don't need to travel, man. That's the traveling. But yeah, they yeah they go and they they get rid of all that energy on the table. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? And you know what? There's something I don't want to say this because it's a dad show. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not. Gonna, I'll still say it though. Yeah, okay. say it, say it. I'll not take yet. a risk. But, but once you say, it, you have to go. I'll, I'll take a risk, and I want people to understand it. I don't want to be misinterpreted, but the right people are gonna understand what I'm saying. There's something magical about alcohol. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why you were kind of. Well, I don't want to be. Con- I don't yeah. want to be saying, "Yeah, go out and drink and party and get all impaired and start," you know, being yeah. shit faced. I'm just saying, there's something magical, harmonious about yeah. alcohol. Big groups and alcohol to the right people. Get- to, to, the, to the right, right people. To the right people. That's right. Like the people, the people that drink and they get tipsy, um, like happy tipsy, like a happy drunk. Those That's are the it. guys you want to be with. Because yeah, then you have but the it, pressing drunks and then you have the violent ones, which obviously true, true. But also that is like it's a magnifier, right? Yeah. So if you're in a you're in a bad mood and you go drinking, you're gonna start a fight with someone. But if you're very, very happy and you start drinking and you're with the right people, the right mood, right environment, yeah. and it turns out to be something good. And then you're you're sitting there, you're hugging strangers. <laughs> You're hugging strangers and like <laughs> you've made new friends. And then, then, then when you're sober, it's like, oh, my God, did we invite them to ne- next week to our house? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of strangers, you know what? I, you, know what I, you know what? I just remembered uh, uh, our friend Irene's uh, engagement party here in Montreal, where we all got shit faced. Everyone got drunk out of their mind. And uh, I, 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 I got really bad. Like it was like puking everywhere in the bathroom. It was just disgusting. Uh, I, I, we got injured. I remember we had a party I, after that. I tripped down the stairs. I sprained yeah. my ankle. <laughs> yeah, we had we had this. Uh, we were invited over some house the day after, and we went there as if we got a beating. Like we could barely walk. Yeah. And then on Monday, Monday we 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 go to school. Like we were still in university, and uh, we're sitting outside. Whatever. And some guy comes and he's like, hey, what's going on, guys? You guys start talking. And he's like, yeah, you guys are doing better. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, that was a rough weekend. And I'm thinking in my head, who the fuck is this guy? Who is this guy? I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> so he leaves. And I'm like, who the hell was that guy? He goes, you don't remember him? I'm like, no. Who's it? He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't know who the who, who's this guy. He's like, he was the waiter at the reception. <laughs> I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, he spent the almost the whole night with us, partying with us. I'm like, I don't remember 
anything. He goes, I feel bad for him. I'm like, why do you feel bad for him? Because he had to go pick up your puke from the bathroom. <laughs> It was a good sport. Oh, it was a good sport, that guy. Poor guy. No, but that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say with it's something magical. You know, when everyone's having a good time, a little alcohol there, it's like, you know, I understand why people do it and they need to they need to keep the problems where the problems are, right? No, but Chris, man, can you imagine a party with no alcohol? Me? No. Yeah. Look, yeah. look, I don't I haven't look, I haven't had a drink in a long time. Yeah, neither have I. And uh I see how it should. Yeah, like see, like now, uh, see, look, it, that's shitty. It's, it's it's not fun. Look, the point where we're at right now, like you know, we're we're all serious. We're all dieting. We're we, we've eliminated alcohol. Not that we, and I don't want people to think that we were drinking every day. Like I never drink. I I would only drink when you guys would come over a couple of beers. You know, when we had the barbecues and stuff. So I don't drink uh, at home. So um, I can imagine us like me inviting you guys over. Okay, guys, let's do a little gathering, a party. Uh, I don't know how, I'm not saying we need alcohol because we don't, but you almost do need it. <laughs> I, don't, mm. I don't know if that makes sense. And, and yeah, because it's, it's not you, whether you need it at the personal, individual like I feel, level. I feel bad. You need it for people, the party. No, I feel bad having people over and not having something to offer them. Like, hey guys, what are you going to drink? You want to drink some wine, uh, some scotch? Like, it would be weird for me to be in a situation where people are over and I don't offer drinks. Yeah, yeah. No, like, I know. I get would, it. It would be the most awkward thing for me. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, look, I. Uh, it's been a few times where I've gone out and I've ordered like waters, and everyone else is drinking, and that's not me. You know, I'm the I'm the first guy to like, to you know, participate in the drinking. But in your, uh, in your shoes, just put a lot of ice, and put one of those little um, alcohol mixing sticks, and go around acting like it's vodka or gin. Oh yeah, no. No, I'm not embarrassed. It's just like, and you even, and little... you, even and you you even drink your water like you're drinking alcohol. Yeah, yeah, slowly. Ah, and you pull on these. Yeah, that's so what that that's one of the waiters. That's what they do because I would get treated a lot. So when I would get treated, well, even now, so I don't know why I'm saying this, but I shouldn't say <laughs> this. But the waiter knew, so he would go. You put a glass, you put a little lime in a stick, so you won't offend the guy that's treating you. Right? Yeah, yeah. You don't tell the guy, okay, he doesn't drink, give him water. There was this so, video, yeah. yeah, there was this video I saw this barmaid because that's one way to cheat because you're making the drinks. But if you're uh, pouring shots and then they give you a shot, there's no way that you can hide it. So you got to drink. No, but you, you, go like, you go like this, cheers to you, and then you go like this, you, make, you touch it on your lip and then you put it down. Yeah, see, so, uh, there was a... Like was yesterday, a, somebody treated two champagnes. Like they gave us two champagne bottles. Bottles, shit. Yeah, so it's like I went like this. Hey, thank you, appreciate it, love you, and you know. Put it back. Is the excuse the the, the 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 old me? It would have been all over me. It would be like, <laughs> just showering yourself with a the shower. old me. No, yeah. but I had seen a video of this barmaid. She was explaining how she she just doesn't get plastered every night when working at the bar. All these guys offering her uh, shooters and stuff. She said mm. she always has like a, um, a beer bottle. That's empty, so it's hard to see if there's anything in it. So every time someone gives her uh, a, a, sh a shot, she takes it all in, and then she acts like she's taking a sip of her beer, but she's just spitting it back into the bottle. Oh wow, that's a, that's that, that's tiring. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot to process. That's a yeah. lot. Yeah, so that's uh, that's what she used to do. But it works for her. It works for her. So yeah, I guess it works. The drink is easy. The, the what you said about the drink, it's easy because you can just yeah, yeah. do anything, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. The shot is a little harder to. Uh, the shot is a little harder with, with shots because we get a lot of shots. It's like, hey, to your health, I go like this. I put it on my lips and then just, you know, you don't want to tell people that, uh, you know, they're treating you. What are you going to say? I don't drink alcohol. Don't do that. They get offended. A lot of people are like, no, you take it. You no, know, I don't think drink. so. Right? Cause, no, because if if I were if I if I would treat someone and the guy goes, sorry, dude, I'm uh, I, I don't drink anymore. You know, I'm uh, what's it called? Uh, what? The, the 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 alcoholics there the 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 AA meetings they're called the, what's it called I'm uh, alcoholic Mark, anonymous yeah no what's the term they use I'm uh, I'm alcohol not alcohol free um I'm clean I'm clean <laughs> I'm uh, sober clean. I'm so sober oh wow <laughs> I, didn't know, where you, I didn't know where you were going with this one that word took a while to come uh, yeah well, so you offer someone a drink it's like no dude I'm uh, I'm sober now uh, I, I'm sober now. What are they gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Bro, come on, bro. Don't be a pussy, bro. Come on, drink it. No, you're not gonna be no, like, but it's different, bro. Okay, it's, cool. it's you're in the band, it's a party, it's happening, you know, everyone's having a good time. You don't want to be the party pooper, so you just pretend you take it and that guy's happy, he treated you, 
you know, you didn't, and it's a Greek thing too. You don't, you don't, you don't want to say no when somebody's off. I get it. How bad do you feel though when your bandmates are completely plastered because they're actually drinking it and you're not? <laughs> no, it, it's fine. It's funny. It, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> You turn around, <laughs> they're like they can barely see you. You're like, shit, what do I do now? No, 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 no one gets like that. No one. Yeah. We've gotten once like that, and it was like never do that again. Because mm. it's like songs start like wrong keys, like you go off. In, you're in, singing. in your head, you think, oh shit, I've sing better than ever. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's like, oh my god, what am I saying? I'm singing. What am I saying? People are still laughing. People are smiling, <laughs> blurring I, the I've, words. <laughs> I, I've sung songs where it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. Like, what did I say? That, that's not the words. Like, but, you're I'm saying saying that, this. but you're saying that in the mic, like, holy shit, what are the words? <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say in the mic? And people are singing the right lyrics over what I'm singing wrong. Oh my goodness. Like I'm looking at the people's lips and they're singing the right thing and I'm going off. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, All right, Chris, we're gonna we're gonna end that one over there. Um, just a little happy discussion for today, guys. Um, yeah, we got things to do, man. It's a Sunday, um, and uh, I gotta go look for George. <laughs> uh, Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and um, uh, for those wondering. Uh, we do have the mini series that is out and there's a few more episodes that are going out there. So thank you for all the comments. I know that you guys have been following it. I've been getting some messages, probably Chris as well. Um, thank you so much. And again, we just want to reiterate uh, Nick Drosos that, uh, that helped us with that. Uh, Phil Balabanos who produced the entire thing and Vilash Greg with Tommy Mukas who sponsored it. Uh, hope you enjoy that mini series. It's a five part mini series. It's almost over. There's a uh, two more episodes left. Um, and then there's more things that we're working on. So hopefully we're just going to keep putting out that kind of content for you guys to enjoy because we definitely enjoyed as well. Uh, thanks right. once again and see you all in the next episode. Take care. So wait, George, George, uh, uh, that means I'm going to have to go share it on my Facebook now, right? Do you, do you even remember what your password is? Do you go on your Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I go on my Facebook. I don't go often, but I go sometimes. Yeah. But I'm going to go share right now. So I just... <laughs> There's three. There's three episodes already out, Chris. If you want, you can share. <laughs> you can share all three. Of them. I'll share all three. I'm gonna go share all three tonight. I'm doing that tonight. At least you have a. At least you have a Facebook profile. George has nothing. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to be good. I'm Complete trying to be good. Absent. I'm gonna get better. It's okay. Look, it's it's a personal uh, thing, man. If you're not if you're not comfortable with uh, the online and the social media, it's, it's not comfortable. It's like uh, you know what? It just have to be have to be reminded of it. It's not it's not like an automatic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I get it. I it. It's not an automatic, and I'm gonna go share the videos today. Let's do it. All right. All right, everyone. If, if, if people are still friends with me, I don't know. <laughs> they probably are. Do, last do time, last get... time you posted something, I think I saw a comment. Holy shit, Chris, you're alive, or something like that. Like, yeah. Someone commented no, but, for your birthday or something. Do people un? Yeah, I, I said the thanks because I like I got a lot of um, a lot of messages for my birthday, and it's, it's awesome. It's overwhelming. You get so much, and yeah. it's like, oh my god, what do you do? What is the etiquette? Do you answer everyone? No. Do you just put a, a big thing? So I just I just said thank you to everyone. Okay. And then and then you know you know what was bad? After I put that, then other people were like, hey, it's your birthday. Hey, happy happy belated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So does it mean I have to go back again and say again? No. Ha no, it doesn't work. Okay. No, normally, right. normally for people that are you know regular users, yeah. But for you, no, I guess. You see, I don't know how it works. <laughs> so uh etiquette. yeah, yeah. The I'm etiquette. getting better. I, I need to know what the etiquette is. <laughs> the but do people etiquette. Do people unfriend you if you don't post? No. Okay. No. So I have all my old friends. You should have all your old friends and uh, you haven't been posting anything. So obviously there's nothing annoying. I have what I've done, uh, people that I can't stand uh, and that I can't really unfriend because I don't want them to start unfriending me. There's an option where you can just not follow. So like, from their point of view, they still see that you're friends, but on your feed, nothing they put comes up. <laughs> so it's like, ah, yeah, yeah. It's a, that's a nice button. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could do that. You could do all that with one button. One button. Oh man, I can't right. remember what I think it's unfollow. <laughs> like you keep friends, but you like unfollow, so you don't follow uh, what they put. Anyways, yeah, I'll give okay, you, man. I'll give you a little crash course next time. Sounds good. All right, everyone, take care. Sounds good. Bye bye.